Welcome to Mama Movies, today I will show you an action, adventure, fantasy film from 2017. Movie name is Valyrian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the 28th century, Earth's previous international space station begins collaborating with extraterrestrial people groups who each bring their own station and append it to Earth's. Gradually, it develops into a multicultural city called Alpha, occupied by a huge number of animal groups from great many various planets. It develops so large, indeed, that it's migrated to profound space, permitting it to reach much more individuals and keep developing. To save harmony among such a huge populace, a police division is made by the UHF, Joint Human Federation. 400 years later Alpha is moved into profound space, Planet Mull lives in harmony with no contact with different races, looking for pearls containing huge measures of energy and utilizing a unique creature known as the Converter to imitate them. Until one day, destruction starts tumbling from the sky, including different more modest vessels and an whole gigantic shuttle that causes a blast, destroying each being in the world. The clan. Pioneers and a lot of their populace figure out how to stow away inside one of the vessels, yet, by shutting the entryway and inadvertently breaking the lock, they leave Princess. Lihome Minya outside as the planet kicks the bucket around her. Before the blast takes her as well, she delivers her spirit in an influx of energy, expecting to pass on their message. The wave. Arrives at Major Valerian of the UHF, who had been sleeping on a holographic ocean side in his boat. He goes with his accomplice Sergeant Lorline, with who he needs to be seeing someone. She keeps on turning him down on the grounds that she thinks of him as a womanizer with responsibility issues. He asks the boat's AI, Alex, to examine his cerebrum, and she affirms he's gotten outside waves. That could emerge out of the present or the past, and from any place in the universe. The team goes to Planet Kyrian, where they get a message from the defense minister, who requests that they salvage the last converter of its species and take it to Alpha for a highly classified activity. When they land. What's more have changed into garments that will make them appear as though sightseers, they meet with Major. Gibson and his group, who will help them during this mission. Valyrian will invade. The virtual market and meeting Loreline at a slanted edge to make the exchange, yet before they start, Valyrian requests that Loreline wed him as verification he isn't anxious about responsibility. Loreline doesn't take him truly however, and sends him away without a response aside from a kiss on the cheek. The enormous market is in another aspect, so to get to it, Valerian should wear an exceptional cap and gloves. Once inside, he defies the guidelines and enters a region where people aren't permitted to meet with. Sergeant Cooper, who provides him with a couple of glasses, to change for this protective cap, to get to one more. Aspect, in addition to a firearm, a shape to utilize it and a fast output of his body to make him imperceptible. Undetected and concealed, Valyrian enters an obscure shop, where Eigen is attempting to sell the converter. To two outsiders, that resemble the species from his fantasy in return for those unique pearls. Eigen is covetous and requests more, and since they can't agree, everybody present draws. Their weapons on one another, including Valyrian himself, subsequently uncovering his essence behind. Eigen. In the interim, Loreline and the group drive to the rear of the divider that encompasses the market. Also shoot the watchman in the lookout with a unique weapon that permits them to acquire control of everything he might do. Then, at that point, they cut an opening on the divider so Loreline can go through it and meet Valyrian at the sloping edge with an exceptional box she initiates close to him, causing it to show up in the other aspect. When Eigen has placed the converter in the crate, Loreline deactivates it and takes it back to the van, however Valerian remains one more second to take the extraordinary pearl with him too. He attempts to leave unobtrusively, however his drifting hand calls the consideration of the watchman's outsider. Canine and gets hopped on by it, making everybody begin shooting. Loreline sees Valerian is in a tough situation and cautions the group, who sends Cooper for reinforcement, and gets assaulted by the canine too. Because of being for the most part undetectable, Valerian figures out how to get away from the shop, however the crate cushion is broken and he can't leave that aspect. A gatekeeper observes him strolling through the market and follows him, shooting a progression of attractive metal circles that get connected to his crate with such a weight that makes him sink through a sewer vent. He arrives inside an arcade, where he tracks down a small child with a toy. Weapon. Valerian utilizes this opportunity to give him one of the attractive circles, which the kid shoots at a close by outsider, and in light of the attraction, the wide range of various circles follow the first 
Valerian is currently liberated from that additional weight and can stand once more, yet he coincidentally makes the kid cry and winds up with the parent pursuing him through the market. He flees until he knocks. Into Loreline, who fixes the container just before the gatekeepers, and the canine find Valerian once more. Animal later them. The team surges out of the market as the outsider under their influence shoots the animal to ward it off until everybody is back in their vehicle. The beast effectively finds them as they drive away and bounces on their van, so the group starts shooting at it without much of any result. Valerian chooses to call Alex and cause the AI to bring their boat over, so he and Lorline escape through the window and bounce into their vessel securely. The animal follows them and bounces on it too, just to slip and fall when the boat speeds up to leave exospace. While Lorline puts the converter in a treatment container, Valerian causes Alex to investigate the pearl, finding it contains a crazy measure of force. When looking into the planet in the framework, be that as it may, it appears under confined admittance. Later Loreline goes along with him on the deck and overlooks his engagement proposition once more. They come to Alpha, where they are conceded VIP access in light of the converter they convey. They meet with General Octo Bar, who educates them regarding a radioactive zone found in the center of the station. They've sent robots and extraordinary officers, however no one has returned alive. The region is sullied and developing each day, so they need to end it before it annihilates the whole station. Commandant Arun Fillet shows up then with his own multitude of K-Tron's droids, which he will take with him to his gathering with the security committee, yet a call from the defense. Serve makes him accept Valerian and Loreline as his protectors all things considered. Prior to going to the being tormented for data. They haven't gotten anything out of him, so Phil it orders. His men to kill him in the event that he says nothing in 60 minutes. He additionally reminds his K-Trons what to do. In the event that the activity goes poorly. Loreline carries the converter to the gathering on the grounds that Phil it needs. To have it as a potential deal card, yet she will not hand it to him, protecting it with. Her. Valerian goes into the room with Philip, while he educates the gathering concerning the tainting issue, what's more Loreline holds up outside, protecting the entryway. She's out of nowhere drawn closer by three little outsiders, the Dogen Daggies, offering their administrations to her. She gets some information about Planet Mall, what's more they characterize it as a delicate subject that Major Samp was a specialist of, in any case, he kicked the bucket three years prior under puzzling conditions. They likewise tell her soldiers of fortune. Will attempt to take the converter just before an alert beginnings ringing. The assailants are going through the dividers and neither the board nor the AIs can see them, and when the officials in the order room attempt to clear, they find there is no power and they've been secured. Loreline combines Valerian and they attempt to get Phil it out, yet the divider unexpectedly detonates and a gathering of Mull outsiders goes into the room, shooting everybody with a gooey substance that covers them with the casing. Valerian sees this and places a container in his mouth before he's concealed too. What's more the outsiders leave a couple of moments later taking a cased fillet with them. Whenever they're gone, from. Valerian's case comes out an insect droid that cuts the case open and permits him to awaken and escape. Then, he saves Loreline and gives her his blade so she can save the others while he pursues the outsiders and Fillet. Power gets back to the order room, and Loreline tracks Fillet. Also his capture is on the screen, passing bearings to Valerian through the communicator. The main way to contact them rapidly is going through a divider, so Valerian gets through one with his suit. What's more goes through many distinctive ecological regions until he's gotten by Alex in their boat. Since the outsiders have boarded a vessel too. A rapid pursuit results, and Valerian starts shooting at them, however the foe's boat basically separates into many more modest vessels. Valerian follows the one they think Philidy is in, however his boat is too enormous to even consider staying aware of it. Through the thin ways it's taking, so he takes the sky stream all things considered, utilizing its snare to grab hold onto the foe's transport and follow it at whatever point it goes. Sadly, this implies he loses control and gets hauled into the no man's land, and Loreline loses all types of contact with him. She needs to go salvage him, yet General Barr restricts it and orders his men to limit her. Outsiders from an obliterated planet here? Furthermore for what reason did they save the chamber's lives on the off chance that they're so abhorrent? Somebody has been deceiving them. At the point when she's hidden, Barr actually looks at Planet Mull on the information base. 
What's more finds, not even he can get to that degree of group data. On the exit from the order room, Lorline claims to help the watchman by letting them know they should sleeve her, so when they come nearer, she gets them and beats. Please subscribe for further updates.